Hi, I'm Lillian and welcome back to my channel, Ink and Pages. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the books I own that I have not read as of the start of this year. And also I'm going to talk through all of the series I'm currently in the middle of reading. I love doing these kinds of videos as like a time capsule to track my reading progress. So I thought I would just combine both those concepts and do them together in one video. So let's start off with my TBR. I do consider it quite sizable, but it is nowhere near um, the people who have like hundreds and hundreds of unread books. Uh, I've broken it down into a couple of different categories and within each one, I'm gonna talk vaguely in the order of books I've owned the longest without reading to ones I've gotten up most recently. And this will include all of the books that I'm like currently reading or have read the start of, but not quite finished yet. They're all gonna be included here. So firstly, we'll do my mythology and folklore books, starting off with the Mammoth Book of Celtic Myths and Legends by Peter Beresford Ellis. The Penguin Book of Norse Myths by Kevin Crossley Holland. The Mabinogian, translated by Lady Charlotte Guest. English Fairy Tales by Joseph Jacobs. Scottish Fairy Tales by Philip Wilson. The Greek Myths by Robert Graves, volumes one and two. The Egyptian Myths by Gary J. Shaw. The Light Princess by George MacDonald. The Aeneid, translated by Robert Fitzgerald. Storyland, A New Mythology of Britain by Amy Jeffs. The Odyssey, translated by Emily Wilson and the Aeneid again, this time translated by Shadi Bash. Next are a couple of language books. So we have Through the Language Glass by Guy Deutscher, this dual um, German and English copy of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Is That Fish in Your Ear by David Bellos, and Babel by Gaston Duren. Next category, and the biggest one by far, is my fiction books. So we have The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe and Everything, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, and Mostly Harmless, all by Douglas Adams. A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, Arcadia by Ian Piers, Waking Gods by Sylvain Novell, Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, The Thrilling Adventures of Lovelace and Babbage by Sidney Padua, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Flower Fairies, The Meaning of Flowers, The Secret World of the Flower Fairies by Cicely Murray Barker, A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes, the Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully, Broken Stars, edited and translated by Ken Liu, Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoet by David Mitchell, The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi, Black Swan Green by David Mitchell, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, In an Absent Dream, and Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire, into the Riverlands by Nevo, A Prayer for the Crown Shy by Becky Chambers, and finally Monstrous Volume 7, Devourer by Marge Liu and Sana Takeda. Next category is non-fiction. So we have Doctor Who the Writer's Tale, The Final Chapter by Russell T. Davis and Benjamin Cook, Literary Starbucks by Jill Poskanser, Wilson Josephson and Nora Katz, The Phantom Atlas by Edward Brooke Hitching, Cicely Mary Barker and Her Art by Jane Lang, Disfigured by Amanda LaDuke, Joyful by Ingrid Vettel Lee, Wintering by Catherine May, which I do own, I just can't find, A Street Cat Named Bob by James Bowen, The Chimp Paradox by Steve Peters, Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies by Scarlett Curtis, and The Little Book of Hooger by Mark Viking. And finally, a little tiny ebook section. There's just three in here. We have My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing, The Secrets of Wishtide by Kate Saunders, and Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. So altogether, that is 60 books on my complete TBR, which is actually eight more than this time last year. However, I am feeling very positive about my shelves and not at all overwhelmed by like how many books I have to read, especially for my mythology and folklore shelf, because I view that collection of books as more of a reference library. So I'm not super concerned with having to read every single page of every book in that collection. It's more for me to dip in and out of if I'm looking for something in particular or if I want to research something. So it's all looking pretty good. So now let's talk about the series I'm currently in the middle of reading. First, let's do the series I am caught up on because I have read all the books that are currently out. So we'll start off with A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Five of the books in this series are currently out, even though actually in the UK, two of them were split into two volumes. So I have seven books on my shelves for this series, even though it's only actually five books. I'm completely up to date on this series and honestly who even knows when the next book is going to come out. He's been saying next year for about five or six years I think at this point. The other series I am all up to date on is the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass. There are going to be six books in total, four have come out and I have read all of them including the rubbish little novella set between books three and four. 
And actually, again, I don't think we've had a official release date for book five yet. If I had to put money on it, I'd reckon next year sometime. Next, let's do the series that I have made some progress on in the last 12 months, starting off with the monstrous graphic novel series by Marge Liu and Sana Takada. This is my favourite graphic novel series of all time and one of my favourite overall series. The seventh volume has just come out. Uh, I have not read it yet, but I have read uh, volumes one to six. I read volume five and volume six last year and I'm loving it. Next is the Way with Children series by Shauna Maguire. I have read the first three novellas in this series. I think we're now up to book eight, I think has just been released or is just about to be. Basically a new novella comes out, I think every January. And I don't know if there's a plan on exactly how long this series is going to be, but I have books four and five on my TBR and I'm very excited to continue. Next is The Singing Hills Cycle by Nevo. There are three novellas out so far and I have read the first two and I have the third one on my TBR. We also have the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Stygian or Stygian trilogy, um, which is a Harry Potter fan fiction trilogy. I reread the first book last year. Um, I have read the second book in the past, but I don't remember much about it, but I've never made it onto the third and final book. So maybe that's something I can hope to achieve this year. And in this section, I'll also give an honourable mention to Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have read this entire series before. However, I am now perpetually in a state of rereading them, I guess. Um, so I finished a reread of Fellowship of the Ring last year and I'm now very, very slowly making my way through the two towers again. So this next section will be all of this series that I have not made any progress on in the last 12 months. This is the biggest section. Starting us off, we have three different series by V.E. Schwab, which I've started and not touched in a while. We have the Villains Duology. I have read book one, but not book two. We have the Darker Shade of Magic series. I have read the first two books and never the third one. Technically, I did start to read this last year, so I kind of made progress towards this series, but I didn't finish the book and it's now gone straight back on my TBR shelf and I don't know how I feel about it. And also we have the Monsters of Verity duology. I've read book one, but not book two. Next is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. I have only read book one um, and books two to five have been on my shelf for years and years and years and I have not yet continued in them. Next is the Wayfarer series by Becky Chambers. I believe there are four books out and I have only read the first one. Originally, I wasn't interested in continuing on past book one um, because it's companion books so they don't follow the same characters. Um, but then I read another one of Becky Chambers books last year and I just loved it so much that I wanted to read a lot more from her. So this has re-peaked my interest in continuing the series. Next is the Odyssey graphic novel series by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. I say series and there's actually only two volumes. Um, I've only read the first one, obviously. I don't know if there's only two because that contains the entire story within just those two volumes or if they plan to do more and then never did. I'm really hoping it's the first one of those options. Um, it's a very weird series, but I would love to continue it. Then we have the Themis File series by Sylvain Novell. I've only read book one, there are two other ones. I did start listening to the audiobook of book two several years ago, but obviously never finished it. Then we have the Saga graphic novel series by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. I have only read the first six volumes, but I think the 10th one has just been published. I believe volumes one to nine follow one story arc, and then the 10th volume marks the start of a new story arc. I think maybe it's gonna be another nine volumes in that one. I'm not entirely sure. Next is the Rat Queens graphic novel series. Uh, this has gone through so many different authors and illustrators. I don't think I could name them all if I tried. Um, there are eight volumes in this series and I have only read the first three, but I have heard it gets very, very bad and goes incredibly downhill pretty much from that point onwards. Next is the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. There are seven books planned in this series, four of which are currently out and only the first one of which I have read. And finally in this section is the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. Obviously I've read book one, Six of Crows, but not the sequel, Crooked Kingdom. And to finish off with, we have the three series I started reading last year, starting with A Song of Race and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This is a duology, I still need to read the sequel. 
Next is The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. I've only read book one, but there are seven books out in total, and I believe two more planned afterwards. And finally, we have The Monk and Robot Duology by Becky Chambers. Obviously, I've read book one, but not book two. And actually, I would love it if this didn't stay a two book series. I would really, really love it if she wrote many more books set in this world and with these characters. So in total, that is 21 series I'm currently in the middle of reading or rereading. And I don't really know what to compare that number to, to know if that's like a, a high or a low or, or a good or a bad number of series. I think it's okay. I guess it would be better if I finished reading some of these, especially the ones which are only two books long and I own the second book in the series but haven't read it yet. So maybe just the act of me making this video will spur me on to finishing more of these series in 2023. So if you've heard me mention any books or series that you really enjoyed and think I should make it a priority to read next, please do let me know. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.